Hey guys, how's it going? Staten here, Royal Mouse as well. Did you guys miss me? Yeah, I hear no response. I just hear silence. Alright, sad day. Alright, so today we got a very cool product. Yes, it's a white box. I'm just kidding, but this is the new... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Is this the new Roblox S7? Uh, that no, looks I don't like think it is. the Roblox box that come on nice plain old boxes. No, no, uh, this isn't the Roblox S7. This the Nicky Plums. Yeah, 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 I know. The they're supposed to get that soon, but this is the Spot Me P1. Well, call me or text me when you get the Roblox S7. Hold on, hold on, Spot Dude, I'm not interested. How about this? If I promise you that you help me with this review, I'll get you some lucky charms. Well, you promised me that last time. No, no, I promised this time. I even got my uh, credit card right here. See? Okay, okay, better be legit this time because I know where it's sweet, Nathan. Alright, so Sparkles is gonna help me with this review and I'll buy him a family sized uh, box of Lucky Charms. And just I'm for the record, I'm doing box. this against my will. Right. I really don't so, want to do uh, this. Today we got the Smart Me P1. I'm super excited because this actually is a really up uh, higher class uh, air purifier. This look like the plastic ones I reviewed on his channel. It actually has a, a very nice design, very clean look. It's actually launched on Indigo, so I'll put the link of the Indigo site. Uh, down below. So if you're interested in this guy, uh, check them out. Also, I'll show you the video of this guy. We'll go ahead and uh, look at the features, the design, and we'll talk about the filter and how well it works. I'll actually try to do like a, a uh, what is it, um, uh, what they call it, the... Uh, please excuse Nathan, he kind of forgets what he's talking about. I do apologize, so just give us a moment. DLC test or something in a small area, and we'll see how well this sensor works. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, and Sparkles, want to help me out here? No, not really, but keep talking, doing a great job doing this review video on your own. Let's go ahead and pull out the video, and we'll go ahead and uh, check that out, and then we'll jump back into the actual unboxing part. So, it's a very unique design. Do you notice that leather handle? Very nice, makes it very easy to carry around. Cool. Okay, let me go and try out this leather handle here. I think it's designed for Magic or Unicorns. Yep, yeah, you can carry it around, see? Right. So, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe. See you later. Okay, uh, we have to get back and do the actual unboxing here. So. What? This wasn't in the agreement? I didn't realize this video should be like 20 minutes long. Come on, man. Just let's get done with this review video. But I'm going to go ahead and change out the audio and we can actually hear the professional uh, commentary on this video. Hold on one second, guys. In bathroom. Smart Me can be controlled by voice via mobile phone. Hey, Siri. It perfectly integrates into your family. Smart Me Air is equipped with PM 2.5, PM 10 laser particle sensor. Not this laser. Okay, so I got everything set up for the test. I'm going to actually do two tests. I had the air purifier on its auto and it's been sitting here for about 20 minutes. And it's probably around 30 uh, plus per million, so it should be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some uh, VOCs. It's like an air freshener. And we'll see how quickly the auto mode detects that there's some VLCs and ramp up. I'm also going to use the app and you guys can see this on the app as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here and I'll keep the door closed so it kind of simulates like an enclosed environment. Okay, so this was interesting. It took the sensor a few minutes to uh, catch up, but after it reached around A2, the Fan mode kicked up to high gear and was able to bring it back down to around 60, which is pretty good. I did have the VLC uh, machine close to the air purifier. I'm pretty sure if I went a little bit farther away, it might have taken a little bit longer for the sensor to recognize that there were some additional VLCs. The LED touchscreen displays the four colors corresponding to the pollen, from good to bad. Let you check indoor air quality at a glance. So now you know why you're allergic. Smart Me 360 degree cylindrical design is equipped with H13 True HEPA filter system. Three stage air filtration. It captures 99.97% .97 of dust and allergens, as small as 0.3 microns, such as pollen, formaldehyde, mold spores, cigarette smell, pet odors, and hair. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the VLC machine off. I have this running for another 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm going to have the machine on its max power mode, which is level 2. And off to the left there's the app. So I can turn the machine on through the app. And you can see the little indicator. It's kind of changing there from green to red. And the sensor is realizing that there's a lot of VOCs. It does take a few minutes for it to catch up. And it hovers around 150 uh, to start. And then as the time progresses, it drops down to about uh, 30. Okay, so I've done this test with several other air purifiers, uh, the fastest being the Envirocrin, but it's a large machine. I believe it was able to clear out this area within like 6 minutes, but this guy was actually quite fast as well. I believe it did in like 6 minutes and 30 seconds, so I was quite happy with the performance. It was able to bring it back to nominal levels around 30. 
So I do appreciate that the machine's fairly quiet, even though it's like max power mode. So you shouldn't have any issues with the noise levels. Wait for this test. Um, I'm gonna actually uh, show you some uh, things that I see here. So I like the fact that it tells you the air quality says it's good. And you can actually uh, see the history here of uh, day, week, month, and uh, it's a very nice interface. And you also uh, actually have the unit. This is the unit I have, the silver color. I assume if you pair up a black version, it will show the black version. So it's really nice to actually show the unit. And then you can scroll to the different levels here. And this is a uh, filter life. And you also have the timer for on and off. So you can actually shut the unit off at a certain time and also turn the unit on. So it makes it uh, pretty easy uh, to uh, set up how you like it. So for example, maybe at nighttime you wanna shut the unit off. Um, it's kind of a nice thing. So it looks like we got the 24 hour format here and we also can repeat. Um, one thing it looks like I can't do is set the actual um, control, like if I want auto, low, medium, or high. So maybe in the future they can add that as a previous update. So you can turn off the screen, and you can also turn off the tones. So it's pretty simple. Let's check out the settings here. You can rename the device, and you can also uh, check out the legal information. So there's not too much to it. SmartMe is very suitable for use at home, avoiding the trouble of air pollution. Four airflow options can automatically adjust the air quality and purify up to 35 square meters of space. The automatic mode automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the particles detected in the room. Okay, okay, I just had to pause right here. This is a perfect example of what Nathan does all day. Besides filming, he just likes to lay around and put cucumbers over his eyes. I have no clue why. Ultra low noise, so you can sleep at ease at any time. Okay, so some additional features it does support Google, Alexa, and Siri. So I really like the fact that you can control a lot of the features. And yes, you do have the smart control app. So you can turn the machine on, you can turn it off. And the air filter is actually pretty simple to uh, remove. I will demonstrate that in the video. And it's recommended to replace it every uh, 14 months or so, depending on usage. And it does come with two colors. All right, Sparkles, so do you want to help me out with this unboxing? No, 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 that's not necessary. We don't want to bore your audience. We've seen your unboxings. They're actually terrible. Whoa, Sparkles, that's amazing. You seem surprised. You know I'm a magical unicorn. Uh, my unboxing's on. You put it nicely. They're probably the worst on YouTube. Well, to give them credit, this actually looks like a really nice air purifier. I really like this leather strap here. Let's go ahead and check out the design here. Very, very nice. Uh, I believe this actually feels like metal, so that's really nice. Um, so up to top here is the plastic, uh, exhaust vent. And here's your touch panel. Can you guys see that? Let me bring you guys up close here. What do you guys think of this? This is a nice clean interface, so all you have to do is just uh, touch the button here to turn it on. This is a capacitive touch. Um, so this is the little air sensor here, so it can uh, register the parts per million. And then up top here is the pollen sensor. That's the unique feature of this guy. No other air purifier has a dedicated pollen sensor. So right now it looks like uh, the pollen air is good. And I believe it because we're in the winter time, so the pollen should be uh, kind of low. But I'm pretty sure in like the springtime, the pollen should go up, so it probably turns like yellow or red. Um, so over here is your timer. So if I click on this, let's go ahead and click on it. I got one hour, two hours, four, eight, and we can do zero hours. So that's our actual fan speeds. So that's auto mode. And you notice how quiet it is? It's like less than uh, or around 19 decibels. So I could definitely uh, go sleep with this on and it shouldn't be any issues. Usually with these air purifiers, I like to turn them on auto and just let them run. Okay, so we're gonna go and launch the SmartMe P1 app and I'll show you the features. But one thing to note is when you do get your unit, you actually replace the filter down here. So just with the quick twist, Hey Nathan, why don't you try twisting the other way, you can get the filter unlocked. Should just pop off. Hey Nathan, watch the fluff there, I'm a very delicate unicorn. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? I can make myself reappear, watch. Oh, hey Sparkles, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be hiding in there. Get out of there. Man, this is a perfect spot for my lucky charm. Yeah, I know. I know he likes to like hide his lucky charms in there. Alright, Sparkles. Alright, not messing around. Okay, so this is a cool filter. Kind of looks like the standard size of a lot of the air purifiers I reviewed. Uh, this is a 3-in-1, so it's a carbon activated filter. You can check it out. So, when you do get your uh, Smart Me P1 air purifier, just make sure you remove the bag. Usually they seal them up uh, just for shipping purposes. So very, very nice. And you can usually go about 14 months 
before you have to replace it depending on the usage. Cool. Well, Spock, what do you think? Oh, it's a perfect storage place for the Lucky Charms. Yeah, he's excited. He wants to put all his Lucky Charms in there. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the Smart Me P1 app loaded on my phone and we'll check out the features. Hey, Nathan, I was thinking, like, since you have a pretty high credit limit, can I just, like, use your credit card and, like, max it out and buy a bunch of Lucky Charms? Okay, so I got my uh, smartphone here. We're going to actually go over the uh, specification of what they say about the Smart Me P1. So you lied, Nathan. I thought we were going over the mm -hmm. Smart app. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down here. So it does look like we have auto mode. We've got powerful uh, with small footprint, dual laser particle sensors. Say what? How in the world does that work? I didn't think I know, these Spark things laser quite impressed filter. with that. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn you on as well. Let me go ahead and turn you on, Sparkle. Sorry about that. Really, Nick, this is like the fifth time you forgot to turn me on in your video. It has a 99.97% uh, block rate for the true HIPAA filter. Smart home compatible. What in the world does that mean, Nathan? Yep. Really, that's all you have to say to me is yep. And here's that uh, pollen sensor. So uh, green is uh, low, uh, orange is medium, and red is high. I hope you don't drop me. I'm a very delicate unicorn. And there's some of the specifications. 250 M3 slash H CAD purification powerful. I have no clue what that is. Okay, Nathan, I know you're just a little person of the common folks. You're not the brightest tool in this tool shed, but I'm not going to harp too bad on you. A lot of people know about this. It's like common knowledge, but I'll go ahead and explain it to you, Nathan. Basically, what CADR, or Clean Air Delivery Rate, represents is an air purifier's efficiency, not the effectiveness, similar to a car's horsepower. It indicates how fast an air purifier can filter the whole air for a metric of a room within a specific time. Um, so let's give an example here, Nathan. So if you had an air purifier, CADR, of 200 CFM, cubic feet per minute, it means it could deliver 200 cubic feet of air in every minute of its highest fan speed setting. It also can express as the cubic feet per hour, or M3 slash H. There's some calculations out there, you guys can Google search it, but I think if I try to show this here on camera, uh, Nathan's head will just explode. So I'll try to keep it in layman's terms and just give you that brief explanation. Alright Nathan, you can go ahead and explain how this thing works. It covers up to 300 square feet in 10 minutes and it has uh, two times the more powerful than similar size air purifiers. So we'll definitely do a uh, particle challenge and see how quickly it can clear our room. Are we done yet Nathan? I really want my Lucky Charms. And that's cool that works with Siri. A lot of products these days don't work with uh, Siri. They only work with Alexa and Google, but I'm glad that they work with the home kit. It's a shame because Siri is so my favorite really cool. So yes, I will definitely link the Indigo page down below if you guys want to check out the Smart Me P1 uh, air purifier. Sweet! So are we done with this review video yet? Yeah, this is getting like crazy long. I'm getting kind of tired right now. Okay, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts about the Smart Me P1 air purifier. I do appreciate you guys sticking with me, watching this entire video. It really does help me out. And again, if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't care for it, feel free to thumbs down. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Comment down below if you have tried these air purifiers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hey, Let me check out your hair here. Bro, you need a I know, haircut. I know, I need a haircut. Seriously, bro, yeah, it's yeah. like really, really Okay, bad. I'll get a haircut after this video. Nathan, let me go grab the hedge trimmer really quick. Yeah, he, he's very concerned about my haircut. I don't know why. My hair is beautiful, I think. Okay, so the pros about this guy is I really like the design. It actually is a metal body here, so it gives a nice premium look. And then the bottom and top is plastic. And look at this design here. I think it's a nice classy look with a compassive touch. So it should fit nicely in anybody's home. You do have two color options. You have the black, you also have the silver. And even on its max power mode, I can still talk and uh, it's not too loud, but you can go ahead and drop it down if you want. And here's that auto mode, so it's a very uh, quiet machine. Um, so, some downsides is I don't care for the uh, pollen sensor. I wish they swapped it out with the uh, parts per million with the little LED indicator or add an LED indicator letting me know um, what the acceptable levels. Because I see these numbers here, but I'm not 100% sure what is acceptable, but you can also check the app. The app will let you know what your air quality is and what is acceptable and what's not. Um, also, in the app, I found like the scheduling app is pretty sparse. I wish they can add like their ability to control the um, speed levels within the app. So let's say you turn the machine on and then one you can actually set it to have it go on auto or on its max power mode depending on uh, what you like. But that's just some minor gripes. Um, a lot of these features can be added by software updates. So hopefully they can just add those features. Um, for the filter, it's pretty easy to remove, just a quick twist. And there's an indicator right here. And this is a common, common style filter. It is HIPAA rated and it's a three-in-one filter. So if you have any uh, 
questions about carbon style filters, you can definitely Google or shoot a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to research it. But just from the top of my head, I don't think carbon filters can remove odor very well. So that's just something to consider. If you try to remove like uh, pet odors or like cigarette odors, uh, that's just something to consider. But they do very good with like the actual particles of the cigarette smoke. So if you're like a smoker or if you run like uh, fires and stuff, like a polluted air, uh, car pollution, uh, these carbon filters do a pretty good job uh, cleaning out the VOCs. Okay, so those are just my final thoughts with the Smart Media Q1. I really appreciate them seeing me out this unit in exchange for review, so thanks so much. And thanks for watching my video. Uh, Spongebob, you got any final thoughts? No, I just want my like. I know he just wants to get on with the video or in this video and we can uh, give him some lucky charms. All right, Sparkles, I'll get you your lucky Fine, charms. only 60 minutes. See you later. Have a great rest of the day. Uh, so what are these lucky charms you've been talking about? I don't see them anywhere.